Go get everybody. Not enough people here. Go get everybody. I got 34 watching, and I ain't even start yet. But go get everybody. <laughs> this is the shit that motherfuckers didn't want me to do. Go get everybody. I ain't starting until I get the 50. Go get everybody. Bed bug, you done crossed the line for the last time. I told you I'm tired of all you motherfuckers. So now I'm going to let all your secrets out. I don't give a fuck. Can't none of y'all beat me anyway. And just know, no matter how you slice it, you still got to see me. No matter how you look at it. What up, y'all in the chat? How y'all doing? Look, get me the 50. I start. Other than that, I'm going to sit right here. I'll be back. Y'all got me to 50. Let's ride. to the bank to collect my payments no negotiations it's my way i was born impatient and like a damn freemason i'll run this nation new world order wannabe uh, is yeah, going this is it's very rude to speak about another person when they're not present. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Being confused is a very scary feeling. Maybe he did it to remind you about what you did. WrestleMania.
Yeah. MLU. Let's go. <laughs> we that got got me. Another day to make believe inside of non believers by doing the unbelievable. Not believe not it or not, I go harder than Baltimore. Not True. Not MTV Jams. True. Fresh shot the mixtape with who kid. I'm loving the new crib in Atlanta. Muse. Just hang yourself. Get it over with. Won't stop till I work more than over again. Damn, Molly and Boo, man. Where you been? Niggas back on their poker shit. Bluffing. I've been stacking my poker chips. I'm up to Niggas broke all on their noise shit. Nothing. They say I'm crazy, but I'm about to go ham on them. Fred Flint, Barney Rubble, Bam Bam on them. And my goons got goons. They got the blam on them. Hourglass, your time's up. Put the sand on them. Cash land fresh. Fuck a blue light or the cops pulling me over. I read my own rights. Yeah, I got the right to be cop. Friday night is all I dream is burn. If you get caught outside, then you gon' get burned. Burn. We gon' say the word and we gon' burn. burn. We gon' burn. burn. We gon' burn. burn. Friday night is all I dream is burn. burn. If you get caught outside, then you gon' get burned. Burn. We gon' say the word and we gon' burn. burn. We gon' burn. burn. We gon' burn. 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 Fuckers, you are. Fuckers, you niggas, it's on. Huh? We kick in the door, we bustin' the floor, we get in your family gone. Out of here, blood in the air, I'm smellin' it down. No stopping the bully, I'm gunnin' you down. You niggas, it's games. He just wants you to come home. Just let him in. Me. If we've been marching together, screaming free art, carry together, we done kicked it together, ate together, hung out together, all that shit. And you get on social media. You lost your sight of what you stood for? Yeah, we've been screaming for R. Kelly. But that nigga been helping keeping R. Kelly in jail. Y'all stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I am not him. I am him. 
been going against this nigga for years, man. I'd stand on. Let me say this, man. I'm, for the record, I'm not mad at nobody. I want to make this perfectly clear. So I don't want nobody to get this video twisted. Man, he mad because Trevin talked to, to, to Damon. No, that's Trevin's decision. That's not my decision. Trevin do what he want to do. He's a grown man. If he felt he want to be cool with him, cool. But I still stand on my principle. Nobody's going to break that for me. No one gonna solidify that for me. Anybody that fuck with Bozo, they don't fuck with me. If we've been marching together, screaming free art carry together, we done kicked it together, ate together, hung out together, all that shit. And you get on social media, you lost your sight of what you stood for. Yeah, we've been screaming free art Kelly. But that nigga been helping keeping R. Kelly in jail. Y'all stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I am not him. I am him. We've been going against... I'm not mad at nobody. I want to make this perfectly clear. So I don't want nobody to get this video twisted. Man, he mad because Trevin talked to, to, to Dana. No, that's Trevin's decision. That's not my decision. Trevin do what he want to do. He's a grown man. If he felt he want to be cool with him, cool. But I still stand on my principle. No one's going to break that for me. No one's going to solidify that for me. Anybody that fuck with Bozo, they don't fuck with me. If we've been marching together, screaming free art carry together, we done kicked it together, ate together, hung out together, all that shit. You get on social media, you lost your sight of what you stood for. Yeah, we've been screaming free R. Kelly. But that nigga been helping keeping R. Kelly in jail. Y'all stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. I am not him. I am him. We've been going against this nigga for years, man. I stand on my own by myself. I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. You know, but I know you got people like him. I want to manipulate people like Trevin the same way he did Debo, you know, they befriend you and all this other shit. But you hear a nigga saying on his live, I'm going to send that in to them people. What? You going to send what to what people? Who want to be friends with a nigga talking about sending something in to the feds? Boy, y'all. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. Yeah, I dropped the line. Hit the number. 312 is the same number. 730-5687. I ain't got no problem with talking to Trevor. That's your decision. That ain't mine. I just don't fuck with people who fuck with that nigga. I'm good. I ain't no making no men's. Ain't none of that. Fuck dude. Dude ain't no that ain't no shit. I don't fuck with dude, man. Never, ever, never. Listen, it's over. I'm not fucking with that nigga, man. That nigga is the devil on YouTube. It's the same number. I ain't got to drop the number. You got the number. It's right here. Call the number. We ain't boys. We men. He make his decision. I make my decisions. That's it. That's all. Everybody won't make everybody the problem. If you leave it up to me, I'm the problem. Everybody the problem. It don't matter, man. This one where we was was because we ain't. It's the fact that still fucking with that clown ass nigga Bozo because of motherfucking Bozo. Bozo don't get along with Debo. Yeah. Hold on. Ain't nothing good. Let me put you on speaker. Hold on. Hold on. What you say? Let me put you on speaker. I'm driving. Go ahead. Yeah, I said it was good. Ain't nothing good. I'm good. You good? Yeah, you, you, I, I hear you on, the, on your live saying a lot of stuff when uh, I called you before I ever went on that man live and you were asleep. Yeah, but okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Wait, so, Travis, 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 Hold on, Travis. hold on, hold on. I, I, 
Seven. Hold this on. Ain't not, this, ain't, this ain't no B, G. This, this is me talking to you. Okay, I understand okay? that. But you said, listen, you said you called me. But call, uh -huh. listen to me. Calling me before you go on this live ain't for me to make your decisions on what to do. Bro. Oh, yeah, nah. So, so you ain't let me finish, though. Go ahead. Yeah, you was asleep. All right, you say what's good. I said, man, you sleep. When you get up, call me. All right? When you got up, did whatever you did, you grown. I don't trip. But here's the thing. If somebody is trying to set me up, DJ, all right, I'm not going to wait for none of that shit, bro. I'm not friends. And if I use somebody's platform, all of that bullshit these people talking about, oh, he this, he that, he this, he that, I don't give a fuck what they think about me because you've been around me, and you should know that. But All right? You should have you just, just jumped out there, bro, when you know me. You don't know what the fuck they was doing. Instead of you calling me, finding out what the fuck they was doing, bro, you went and you did a post. And then you turn around and you jump on this live and you saying all this stuff. You right, you grown, I'm grown. All right? I don't have a platform to do what the fuck you get to do. All right? But one thing I ain't never going to do is let nobody play with me. Okay? So, hey, hey, motherfuckers was trying to play with me, bro. I hear what you said, Trevor, and all that's fine and Danny. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not declining none that you said. I'm talking about the fact that fucking with the fucking. Yeah, you know, you're you thinking man. that shit, but all you had to bro, do was ask me. No, no, bro, listen, listen. Common sense is common sense. Mo, you know how many times they say I'm going to be in jail? You know how many times? Hey, I, I know that shit. Listen I to me, bro. Right there with you. Let me finish, Trevor, saying? Trevor, let me finish. You know how many times motherfuckers say I'm going to be in jail? Oh, you going to be in this paperwork? Oh, they going to lock you up? They going to this? Bro, all I'm saying is, nigga, you could have stood on your own, man. You still had to fuck with Bozo. Fuck that nigga, man. Why you keep saying that I'm fucking with the man because I came on his channel because he called my phone? Bro, what we been through together, man? What that, what that nigga we name? We been through a lot of... Okay, then. We, we been through a lot of... Trevin, Trevin, listen. What we been through, bro? You together? fuck with the Bozzi, bro. I don't fuck with that. The way you feel about Dana, I feel the same way about the Bozzi. And as soon as that nigga get jammed up, bro, you put all this fucking cronies who fucking dogged you for years bro. in your chat, bro. Bro, listen here, man. I know how to make men with the right people, not the wrong people. That nigga's the wrong hey, yo, like, like, I that never, I never the... said to nobody that, hey, I fuck with this person, I fuck with that person. I went on that man's channel, he called me because these no, motherfuckers no, behind no. the scenes shit on my name. Trevin, he didn't, he didn't call you, he called you to use you, man. And that's what the nigga man, is. nobody can't use me. Dude. Yes, he you can. Know Bro, yes he can, man. That's what the nigga do. Let me explain this to you again, brother. If you just listen, the same daddy shit he did with me and Debo, he doing it with you and Debo. Whatever y'all problems is, y'all deal with that shit without that nigga being involved. He's like a little bitch. He always want to be in the middle of every fucking thing. We ain't got shit to do with nothing. Period. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. The same thing he did with me and Debo. You know what I'm saying? With his baby mama, talking about I sent the pictures. He befriended the nigga. And then look what he did to the nigga. Open your eyes, Trevor. That nigga's an op for real. Fuck him calling you. He called you to use you for his live, for his views. That's the oldest trick in the book, man. Uh, That's yeah, what he used DJ, you for. DJ, you know, you know how we get down. You know what the fuck went on, all everything. You know a lot. Okay? And the bottom line is. Whatever the fuck was or wasn't done, why the fuck is that shit uh, trying to be put out as a way to fucking do some shit to anybody, bro? Like, goddamn, man. Can I, can I, like, can I, can if I, can a I motherfucker got something to say to me, you come and say it to me. And the motherfuckers that knew what the fuck did that bitch was doing over there never got on no live and checked that hoe. Never got out there and say, hey, mind hey. your business. This ain't got shit to do with you. So I'm, I'm not going to sit up in there, bro, and hey. let a motherfucker run me over. Trevin, remember you told me about D Boy and said, man, he wanted to have me killed and wrap me up and stuff. Yeah, all that. Listen fuck to shit. me, bro. Yeah. Listen to me, bro. Listen to me. Even if he did say that, did I go to Bozo? I'm just asking hey, a question. You got your own platform, bro. But regardless of a platform, not it's integrity, brother. Bro, you not so you you trying to question my integrity for going Listen. to fucking speak on my motherfucking name? No, not speak on your name with the op. That nigga's an op. Get the word. Yeah, but you ain't got to fuck with the op that we've been going against for a long time, bro. Because against we the... was going against the Bozki. But did I go to Dana? You not listening.
happening? You went on your own channel. Bro, we don't need that nigga channel for nothing, bro. We okay. don't need that nigga for nothing. All right. We don't I need him for said, nothing, bro. bro. He used you. I get what you, you said. I get everything you said. He and used you. I understand you. you. Nah, I understand what you're saying. But, bro, just like your name is your name, my name is my name, bro. You gonna go hard for your name, and I'm gonna go hard for mine. Trevor, Ain't nobody jumping uh, out there. Let me see. Let me see. Jumped out there. Shot out jumped out there. 312 jumping out there. But it's motherfuckers that know me, all right? No, I ain't did none of that goofy shit that them motherfuckers jumped on the live and said. And I didn't see nobody jump on there and say, man, Trevor ain't this. Trevor ain't that. He'll never do this. He'll never do that. You know why? He was around me. And Trevor, and Trevor, did and I not do a goddamn lie? I got on my line one day and say, man, Trevor did this at the rally. Trevor did that at the rally. Trevor did this. You a goddamn you know lie. You know I right. did. You're right. You're right. Don't I'm tell me I about did. About I know the fuck I did, Trevor. DJ, I'm talking about what they just did to me, bro. Man, this is Trevor. Sometimes you got to let them motherfuckers beat them because that's just them. They don't talk about you when you do good, when you do bad, when you do ugly. I don't give a fuck. Oh, man, you know, they need my DJ. These motherfuckers trying to put a rape jacket on me, nigga. What the fuck is you saying? Nigga, they try to put my kids on me, nigga. Fuck them niggas. I mean, I That's what, what I'm saying. Like this. Fuck like them these niggas. motherfuckers sit back. These motherfuckers sit back thinking that shit cool. All right? And none of that shit cool, bro. So you can be upset. Hey, listen, DJ. You can be upset with Trevin. the path that I chose. I'm but not a, you listen. know why I did it. But Trevor, I'm not upset. With whatever you chose, I'm choosing the decision that I make for myself. And let me explain something to you. Talking about they trying to put a rape on you. Did you see Levi talk about my kids? What I man, I bro. Hey, well, who the fuck want to rape some fucking Latanya Walker, bro? Cut that shit the fuck out. Y'all motherfuckers got me fucked up out here, bro. Trevor. And anybody that been around me, Trevin. if you not out there speaking up for me, man, that's Trevin. bullshit. Trevin, how many times you Yo. been around Tanya Walker? Did Tanya Walker say, listen Boy. to me, Trevor? Did she ever say you raped her? Nah, that bitch doing that shit now. For Dumbo. And you rocking with him. Tell you. She lying. She That's is. my point, bro. And they say they want to jump on me. Oh, you went over here. You did that. Man, listen, yo. I, uh -huh. You know me. And I'll, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you. Anybody that's been around me know me. So all you motherfuckers that say something about me, Trevin. that never walked the streets with me, that never did nothing with me, you can't speak on me. Trevor, listen to me. I can speak on you because I've been around you. Only thing I'm saying is, bro, he doing the same manipulation trick you did with Debo, bro. That's all I'm saying. I'm not tripping off you defending your name. It's how you defend your name. Not with the fucking ops. Not with the ops. Yeah, this you're a, right. I already got that phone call. I, listen, DJ, you're right. I already got that phone call. I got that phone call. Matter of fact, early, early in the morning, wee hours of the morning. All right, I got that phone call. So I'm not tripping on what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But at the end of the day, hey, desperate, hey, that was a desperate fucking moment for me, bro. Because my name is my motherfucking name, bro. Bro, and you think my name ain't my name? Platform. I know your listen name, to your me. name. Listen to me, bro. We had countless conversations. But listen I to know what I'm your saying. Name is your name. Trevin, my name is yeah. my name. Platform or no platform. But what I'm telling you, man, it's the moves that you make. It's the decision that you make. And exactly. I'm trying to exactly. listen to me, bro. Listen to me. All I'm right. trying to All say right. this here to you, bro. The same thing he did. What the fuck makes you think he ain't gonna do it to you, man? That nigga's hey, a cop. That nigga's I'm a not saying. DJ, you are you are a thousand percent right. You are a thousand percent right. And now let me say this to you, DJ. And I heard everything you say, and I respect what you're saying, all right? And let me say this to you, all right? Whatever I supposedly may have done, all right, one way or the other, if I did that shit, all right, or didn't do that shit, why is it out of whatever box it was in, okay? And people who know about that shit firsthand or thought they knew or, or didn't know or, did, or I didn't do shit, why didn't they go out to their people that they fuck with and tell them to mind their fucking business? Ain't nobody on this motherfucking YouTube can threaten me, bro. On nothing. I'm not a, you know me, I know you. I ain't afraid of nothing, nobody and none of that shit. So why is motherfucking females, bro, females, DJ, coming at me, bro? I All I said, bro, was, man, $150? Damn, I pay that shit. So 150 dollars G, I gotta get all up in this shit, all up in this bullshit. I went on our channel, bro, and said, listen, 
lady, I don't know you. I wasn't in your, ain't none of this shit. All I said is this right here. Why the fuck is me saying that? The DJ was a bunch of motherfuckers in there dragging her. How you pulled me out of everybody, bro? This shit was a targeted hit on my ass by the bullshit and his fucking crew. The motherfuckers you rolling with, bro. Bro, I'm rolling. And you, I was trying to call you Trevin. to talk to you about the shit. But Trevin, Trevin, you still a grown man, man. I understand you come out of sleep, man, because I be grinding. But what I'm trying to explain to you, bro, the op, you still missing a whole picture. And what man, he, listen. listen, listen, bro, the op and what he did to the nigga that he befriended. He befriended. Bro, I don't. I don't deny Dana did a lot of shit to you. Just like you can't deny that Bosky did a lot of shit to me. But here's the thing, DJ. I can't tell you that you don't have every right to feel the way you feel. And you can't tell me I don't have a right to... This motherfucker's still behind the scenes, DJ, trying to put him... He got goofy-ass motherfuckers from California working with him and trying to get... Man, I know what the fuck going on, bro. Man, you don't... I, 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 I you called this. you. I let, called you. And guess me. what? You ain't, we all know what's going on over here. Hey, we hey, try, I was trying to talk let, about let, you let, Can I ask you this, bro? Listen to me, man. Did the feds knock on your door? That's the question. Nah, them motherfuckers ain't coming the police, out. They might, listen listen to me. Did the police call you? Did they anybody? Nah, hell no. Okay, then. So, so that's like how they did me. Try to blackball my name with my kids, all that shit. You know what? Fresh that shit. Ain't no motherfucker knocking on my door. Ain't no motherfucker look. Man, fuck you, motherfucker. Say what you want to say. Period. That's it. That's all. You keep that shit rolling, bro. But what I'm trying to tell you is the, the scenario you're supposed to see a how motherfucker befriended a motherfucker and did a motherfucker that can do you the same exact way, bro. That's all I'm trying to show you. You, you, you and Debo got y'all people, whatever. Okay, I understand that. But the friend of motherfucker, the same way he friended a motherfucker you against? That's his oldest trick in the book. That's the thing I'm trying to show you. He tried to find, and this is something we always preach about. He tried to find the weakest link. Whoever got beef with who, let me get into it with him. Like the nigga got on his live and say, "Oh, hold on, look, hey, hey, I, ain't try. I know, I know, we don't, we, when we talking, we don't talk with, we don't fuck with the chat shit, bro. But hey, Caribbean and Dom K, hey, look, I don't want to hear nobody But like I told people, don't make this, don't don't question me about your your decision, your decision. And you know I said, yeah, right. I don't one of those motherfuckers that had a question, DJ. Guess what? They could have called me. But 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 Trevin, you know how adamant I am about that nigga, and we've been in these streets together. Know. Listen to me, bro. Listen to me, bro. And you know Hear I'm me, bro. I'm but you still not listening, bro. You. You miss the whole concept of what I'm saying, bro. Even if you into it with Dabowski, he befriended Dabowski, and look what he's doing to him now. This is the pitch I'm trying to get you to see. So why would I even go to a friend of me that befriended another motherfucker and got him in a jam me in? This is what I'm trying to show you, Travis. Ain't that much thirsty in the world. The fans ain't not going to come here. I didn't run nowhere. Bro. Trevor did not get on a live. I didn't run nowhere. Trevor did not get on a live and say, Trevor, you need to tell Dana about this or that. I didn't do nothing. So we're not going to sit over here and act like we don't know. Don't care. We're not going to sit on here and act like we don't know how this shit ever even got out. Okay? We're not going to do that shit. All right? This ain't no jump on Trevor train, yo. Nah, DJ Trevin. got a right. DJ, DJ, listen. Because I respect you, bro, and I fuck with you, you got a right. This conversation you having with me, you got a right to have it with me. All right? You I do. understand. I, I understand, everybody. bro. That, and that's why I'm making my thing, because I, 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 I thought it was a pre-recorded conversation, and this nigga records everybody. He used every conversation, every person you ever talked to. He recorded. And you know what he do? He gonna go back on his live. When he got a problem with your ass, he gonna go on his live. If you, if you and that nigga ever had a conversation, he gonna play that bitch. And he gonna play to make you look like a fool. Man, 
No. I ain't, I ain't never had no conversations with Dana about none of the shit that y'all think y'all that, that happened and all of that shit. Nah, it wasn't none of that shit. All right. Dana beef is with who he got his beef with. My beef with who I got my beef with. All right. It just so happened that he got a problem with the Bosky and the Bosky behind the behind the scenes trying to set my ass up. But bro, the Bosky had a problem. He had a problem with me, and he used the Bosky, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a cycle all over again. He just using who's against who. The shit he been doing for three fucking years, bro. That we always screamed about. You fell into the lines, then, bro. He used that shit, bro. It's live, man. All that we cool. We ain't got no beef because of this person. That's the same script he used for every motherfucker that got a problem with a problem who he got something with. Hey, DJ, 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 this is what I'm going to do, all right? Because we done gave him enough. Uh, once we get off this, off this, uh, I'm going to back up off the line, and we can chop it up a little I'm more gonna, off the line. We can chop it up. We can chop it up, all right? All right, I'll hit you soon. Yeah. i get off this line. I will hit you. All right. Yeah, do that, man, because yeah, I got, all right, we got. Tonight we throwing dough up. All my niggas here ready. Everybody showed up. 
Almost every single thug in the club Either fuck with us, fuck with us Or this getting crunk with us The rules is when we slide in, move over Step to the side when you see me high You sober, I skeet slow with a smoker Shorty like the deep throat Dancing in the peak before I stroke her No lie, she deep throat it till my shit choked her Now she calling on the ranch Trying to get poked out Keep it moving, stay in focus Life I live it Hold the ball to this game But don't move my pivot No flaws in no circle Careful what you say Cause the right niggas here Gonna hurt We them boys with the bangers You hearing it clear This that new shit to get with World premiere Got around everybody It's the world premiere It's the boys with the bangers Getting all in your ears We a the cop of the year Trying to get it on and popping in here Yo, what's going on? I had to, I mean, hold, hold on, hold on while I get something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got to give a nigga. The real about me, Dana J, the average Joe. Let's go. Hey, yo, cool. Kick that shit, yo. This you kicked up and All right. No duh. Let me see that green real quick. Want y'all to look at me closely, study like a predator. From a Timberlands to what used to be a regular. Check the vision, I grant permission, you can stare at the flaws, the paws, the jaws, etc. Unwrap this crook, take a look at my soul. Peep the steam, peep the pose, peep the brand of my clothes. Check the mug, check the love, and check the subject of flows. For you cats who don't know, I'm just your average Joe. I'm the cat you always see standing at the payphones. With his headphones blasting, trying to make his way home. I'm the nigga with ya, chrome nickel play the trigger. And sub shops or bus stops, plot. I'm the bitch with the fat ass and the ashy jeans. I'm the preacher with the bullhorn lashing at fiends. I'm the snotty no kid up all night, you to get killed. 12 o'clock up and down the block on the big wheel. The cat and the hoop dog creeping with no headlights. The junkie with the swollen hand begging at the red light. The cat spitting, don't give a fuck of what he's hitting. Always with the glass can never take your ass whipping. I'm the fat bitch with no bra and pink dirty slippers. The wino, the kanyo, the stinks, Earl and Lick. The hustler, the KO, all sayos and play hoes and more cream than mayo from yeah, yo, but stay low, call walk the jump. The one that's bitch shine, you whip the form of dime piece for a nick spit shine a dear baby just a pamper on, sucking pacifiers. Running from his mother, chest covered in saliva. The nosy old bag in the frame, the leather call the cop. The old men that live closed in at the barbershop. Car stillers, raw dealers, Godzilla, stick up boys, rob and dodge killer. I'm club scenes, I'm shootouts, I'm straight up from lies. I'm beat breaks, I'm cheese sticks, I'm four wings, I'm fries. I'm Maryland, I'm heroin, I'm weed, I'm cocaine, I'm zip rims, I'm new Tim's, I'm bit rims, I'm gold chains, what? You looking for the streets, you hit the jackpot. Straight up and down, and all around this here be black top. To all my individuals on that do or die. Never fear, the streets is finally here. Coolie high. Damn, I like that shit. Aye, 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 aye. So, <laughs> I listened to this nigga cry on his line. Because Trevin came to my channel. Now, if I can recall, right? Shout out Dream Team and everybody that's here, everybody that's watching, everybody. Shout out to y'all, man. Um, I'm just I'm 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 lost about something. I'm lost about something. When Randa and Sylvia and all them ran over there, did I did I get upset? Did I? Did I want to cry because motherfuckers went over there? When Dom K and Marshall went over there and got wrenches, did I give a fuck? No. So, what I see is a press 50 year old that say he got a problem with me. Well, y'all seen it play out. The nigga. Damn near cried when I ain't want to fuck with that nigga. So he said, I backstabbed Debo. We seen that play out. Everybody know I didn't backstab Debo. Everybody know Debo stabbed me in the back. Everybody know that shit. 
But then this nigga say, I'm the ops. Don't use my words. Nigga, I've been saying you was the ops. And you know what? The way you feel about me, I want you to keep that bottled up, Kevin. Because when I see you, I want it to explode. I'm going to show you how I feel about you. I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to show you and live in color. But I want to break down some bullshit. I want to break down some cap. Kevin, didn't you go on your live before Trevin even came over here, before Trevin even thought about coming to my page to defend himself? Didn't you go on a live and hold it at midnight to talk about Trevin a while back? When Trevin pulled up on you, wasn't you scared to come outside? Then you had people. Then you had people that was cool with you at the time, and that was cool with Trevin to uh to uh actually put an end to that so that way y'all two can start talking again. This is a mini memory lane. So then you get mad because the man don't have a problem with me. I get why you, Randy, Sylvia, Dom, K, Marshall, all of y'all, I get why all of y'all are in the same game. I get why all of y'all think alike. Because what we see play out is what y'all lied about three years ago. All of y'all put on put it on me and said, oh, if you leave Dana J page, he going to get mad and he going to try to turn against you and he going to do all this and do all that. You ain't never seen me do that. But we see y'all doing that. So your lies that you told two years ago is starting to surface again. And it's starting to make you look stupid as fuck. Let's talk about, and you know, I took notes. I took notes. I took notes. Let's talk about the recordings. I don't record everybody. I just record you stupid motherfuckers because I know y'all be trying to set a motherfucker up. So guess what? In order to protect myself from the shit that y'all trying to do, trying to remove me from a position that I'm not even in, bitch. This is what you do. So when I pull out recordings to defend myself, oh, Dana wrong. Dana wrong. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He record everybody. Dana wrong. Nah. I ain't wrong. I just recorded all you motherfuckers that showed me that y'all were some sneaky, conniving ass motherfuckers. Make that make sense, bitch. Third thing. You say, Dana the Ops. He talking about sending stuff over to them people. Hmm. Was it the people on Robert or was it the people on y'all? Make it make sense. Was I talking about sending the people on Robert or was I talking about sending the people on y'all? And I made it quite frankly who I was talking about. But only the new people that haven't been here that can be manipulated by y'all sorry ass motherfuckers can sit back and say, oh, this is what he said. No, 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 no. One thing about me, you can't spin what I say because I say what I say. Then while we on recordings, 
Oh, when Randa was secretly recording me and nobody said shit, everybody, yeah, Randa, you got it. It was cool when they did it. But now it's fucked up when I do it to them. The problem was y'all thought y'all had me at a place that y'all can never have me at. Y'all thought y'all was smarter than me. Y'all thought y'all can do whatever y'all can do. And I was just going to sit there and take it and not say nothing. Now you realize the joke was on you the whole time. So while y'all dummies was falling into everything I had laid out, it's a reason why I said I love the Joker. The Joker never comes out and tell you his plan. He jokes about his plan and lets you fall into the plan. But I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. So you want people to <clears throat> hate me. Give a fuck. Hate me or not. But uh, one thing for sure, two things for certain. I always destroy anybody that's against Robert Sylvester Kelly. Right? I do believe the same people you rocking with helped get your boy Don Russell and A.R. Rich, which is Richard Arline, a.k.a. Jeff Fly Leaks, booked. But what you failed to tell the people why was you calling Don Russell? Uh, I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don personal number. I'm going to call him. Uh, I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don personal number. I'm going to call him. Uh, I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don personal number. I'm going to call him. Uh, my and my fault, but I said the only reason why I won't play the other live with uh, uh, Ar Rich, aka Richard Online, calling you bed bug, is because that live was taken down. That but that whole channel was taken down, and it was on private. But I still know how to get around that too. So while you getting upset and your blood pressure boiling with that Burlington Coat Factory coat that you was rocking with. Um, Let's go down this page of notes that I took. We talked about the recordings. I explained that. Boom. Uh, you came on and said, I'm not him, but I am him. Which clearly told y'all that he would do whatever he got to do to separate whoever. And he's a snake in the motherfucking grass. Don't forget, people. Don't forget, people. Don't forget, people. Not my words, but his words. We all came in this fight for R. Kelly, right? So did, did he ever explain this to y'all? I'm saying R. Kelly is innocent about shit. Everybody know this nigga like young girls. Everybody know this nigga got issues, whatever the case by is. All I'm saying is the facts are the facts. I'm just saying this is my honest, honest opinion. Kale's going to do something. And they're going to make him pay for all the time that he got away when they did felt him not guilty. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Go treat Kells just like OJ Simpson. Watch what I tell you. He going to get in trouble. I promise you this on life. 
R. Kelly gonna get in trouble, and whatever he do, they gonna slam him just like they did O.J. Simpson, man. It, you, you know, it's it's. I don't know what's wrong with dude, man, and his infatuation with these young ass girls. And I'm saying to myself, dude, you can have any woman in the world, but just because these chicks is legal, you think it's cool to fuck with them. So for everybody that's watching, this ain't got shit to do with me having daughters. Everybody know I got daughters. It ain't got shit to do with that. I'm just going off what I'm seeing on TV, what I'm seeing before my eyes, what I'm listening to. I watched the whole fucking docu-series. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> that's enough. Next thing you said was marching together. You told Trevin, if I marched the streets with you and I did that, did, 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 did. nigga, I'm the reason why anybody even fucking know you, bitch. If it wasn't for my first rally that showed all of them how to do anything, you wouldn't have been nothing. So when you say we marched together, we did this, we surely did that. And you took that back and you took that knife from Don Russell and stabbed it in my back four days later, bitch. Don't forget I got it all. So let's not talk about that. Uh, you talk about integrity. I didn't do it. Levi didn't do it. Your daughters came out and said, you molested them. Not one, not two, but then the third one, the one that you love so much, Miss Kiora Terrell, said you paid her, you paid your homeboy to rape her and you wouldn't slide on him. That's why you wouldn't slide on him because you paid him to rape her. Why didn't you ever rebuttal anything about that? You got an excuse about everything except for that. You know why you can't rebuttal that? Because the family went under the chat and told how much you and your mother's a piece of shit with that Burlington Coat Factory coat you got on, nigga. The family was saying, line for line, that everything that happened was true. The family was apologizing to your daughters for not believing them when they told them before. So it's cool when y'all do it, but when I do it, it's a problem. You should have learned from the fat bitch not to play with me in this time because now I'm coming for blood. And before I play with you, I don't want to play no more. I'm Ethan. Every last one of you. So whoever say my name, you're going to get this very same treatment. Because you don't know what I got on you. And remember, the only reason why I got recordings on certain people is because you showed me that you was a piece of shit from day one. Even. <laughs> this might sound evil. <laughs> Even when I was rocking with him too. It was a certain person that I locked on because they made the same mistake that everybody that snaked me made. Oh, I'll never do this, brother. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you know, I fuck with you. I do this. I do this. And they the same one that turned around and daggered me. I don't got to call names. Just look what happened. If you was there, you know. If you wasn't, fuck you. But you know what I respect about Trevin? That none of you bitches was able to do? I was by myself. He was by himself. He walked up. He said, Dana. I said, what's up? I said, I'm Trevin. Let's talk. 
What's good? We talk man to man, eye to eye. Man to man, eye to eye. If there's something that don't look right, Trevor a call. Yo, what's this? We'll talk about it. Nine times out of ten, it's not me. If I see something that's not right, I call. Trevin, what, so what's up with this? Nine times out of ten, it's not him either. But you want to know the funny thing about all this? Bear bug? All of y'all sit around and try to mastermind a plan against me. So I'm going to go here. When Sylvia and Randa and them wanted you to go live about the car, why didn't you? I gave you the game plan. And Trevin ain't bringing it to me. I brought it to him. After, I got tired of sitting back laughing. And Trevin was like, yo, how you know? And I bust out laughing. Because everything y'all did to hurt me helped me. But it hurt Sylvia and Ronald and Bedbug and Randa. Just give it some time. You'll see. So when y'all called Trevin and lied, right? Bedbug, here's the trip. I know you wasn't in Atlanta. I know who sent you the plates. I know who got the plates. Go back and listen to that live. I told y'all and then recovered it and covered it up. I played like I was so wary. I wasn't. I didn't lose sleep. I laugh. Because you relieved me out of a situation, but you helped me prosecute Ronald, Sylvia, Randa, and you, Bibba, along with your minions attached. I told you, I don't play checkers. And I don't play chess. I play Chinese Rubik's Cube, nigga. The first three years was trial by error. I did a lot of shit. I said a lot of shit. But could none of you motherfuckers capitalize on it? Now, statute of limitation of everything I said and did is gone. But statute of limitation for what I'm about to do don't leave until another five years. Let's go here, Bear Bug. All of y'all knew that Ronald had already paid for the car in full. All of y'all knew that Ronald credit was A1 because that's all he got because that's all Sylvia hold over top of him because she ain't got shit. All of y'all knew that. I didn't. I was just being a good old Samaritan trying to help out somebody I called a friend. Ronald knew that his payments was direct and on point as long as Sylvia left me the fuck alone. When I lost my crib and my job, I was five days late. Sylvia blocked the payment to try to make it seem like I didn't pay her. Then she went to the court. And what the judge say? Y'all both leave each other alone, no contact. How can I pay you after that point? It's bad enough Ronald had to run to a motherfucking restaurant and call me from another number and before Sylvia broke his phone after she found out, he called me for me to pay him in another way because Sylvia was taking his money and running to Chicago to the rallies. That's when she fucked the Bolsky and crew. She was running to New York. I told you I put it all out there, motherfucker. It's all in the paperwork. Your homegirl, Randa, got the link. Sylvia got the link. Tell him to go read it. Tell him to go read it. Don't read shit that's there. No, read every motherfucking thing. 
So bed bug, you got a problem with me? Nah, you don't got a problem with me. I got a problem with you. This is beyond personal. And you want me to threaten you so that way you can run to Houston PD like you always do and say, this guy's threatening me to, to this degree. This and that. I'm not threatening you, bro. I just want to see you. I just want to see you. I want you to make pretend I'm that drunk man that couldn't have no equilibrium that you swung on. I'm going to show you how sweet it is. I'm going to show you how sweet it is. Like you complain, oh, they try to blackmail me with my kids and this and this. Evidently, you don't know the read. You, you don't know the meaning of blackmail, motherfucker. This is what I mean when I say stupid motherfuckers. You don't know the meaning of blackmail. Nobody has ever blackmailed you, bitch. Nobody. Nobody has ever blackmailed you, bitch. The meaning of blackmail, the action treated as a criminal offense of demanding payment or another benefit from someone in return for not revealing compromising or damaging information about them. They were acquitted of charges of blackmail. Watch this. You don't have shit. So why would anybody try to blackmail you, bitch? You don't have shit. You're a bum. But guess what? I'm going to show you what we do to people like you. Y'all tried to extort and blackmail Larry. I'm the one that told Larry, don't worry about that shit. I'm the one that told Larry, I got you. Watch this. Did you tell everybody the way that you used to suck Larry Dick virtually every day? And you called him three times a day? And you even wished him a happy new year? Oh, you forgot about that, didn't you? And then when Larry didn't do what you wanted him to do, then you turned on him, bitch? Something y'all Chicago boys that's in y'all caliber do. Everybody in Chicago ain't like that. It's just y'all low-life motherfuckers. You heard just trash tell everybody why you ran out of motherfucking Chicago. Why you take that? Why you take that live down? When a nigga shot up in the air and you dove across the seat and you start crying. When he told you stop fucking filming around that territory, four corner hustler area. Make it make sense. Y'all been trying to pick and pry people away from me for a while. All because I said fuck y'all and I ain't going along with y'all shit that y'all doing to Kales. Oh, ain't you cool with Sean Harris too? Didn't Sean Harris evolve in your channel? Didn't his wife come from your channel? I get the lies. I get the lies. But you got a problem on your hand, boy. He's 6'2", 289 pounds, chocolate, got a lazy eye, and got a motor that won't quit. And hit hard as fuck. You'll find out. You should have learned from, from, from the handshake. Or when you's like, damn, yo. Yeah. And I just and I just dabbed you up, shook your hand. That's it. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. Y'all don't want nobody talking to Dana. Dana's the bad person. Dana's this, Dana's that, Dana's this, Dana's that. But you know what I like about Trevin? Like I said, Trevin sat back and watched all y'all actions 
and it don't add up to what y'all are saying. That remind me of, uh, of another person named Prima Donna. And when y'all kept trying to get Prima Donna to go against me, and she said, send me what you have. And y'all never sent nothing. So then when she wouldn't go against me because y'all didn't do what she asked you to do, so that way she can have something to stand on, now she's the bad person. Damn, see how this go? Then you said, uh, I tried to keep R. Kelly in jail. But wasn't you the one, and, and I'm going to put some shit out there. Wasn't you the one that was with Michael Williams or on the phone with Michael Williams and Don Russell when he blew up the car and he was trying to blow up Angelo Clary house? What's the real reason why you jetted from Houston, Texas when it came out and when Larry put the phone call out there? What's the real reason why you jetted from motherfucking Houston, Texas and beeline to motherfucking Chicago? I mean, Bolingbrook. I'm sorry, Bolingbrook and to meet with Dabolski. Why? Because all of y'all was together. A answer this question. Why was Don Russell paying your hotel fare? That's why I kept coming out telling everybody, if you pay the motherfucker to come at me, get your money back. You need a refund. The shit ain't working. You forgot about that. I didn't. Let's take it a step further. When you got mad at the Bolski and start crying and all this other shit, right? And you let me to T-Baby Bone Shack. And then you got mad because the Bolski was putting the truth out there. And no, he wasn't even talking to me. I was going live and putting everything you did to lead me to T-Baby or Flea Baby. That's what we call it. Flea Baby. And then you get mad. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. And you started crying about another nigga. Man, look, bitches do that. That's what happens when females break down oh my god when females break down that's what you did but watch this i got something else for you bro and i sent this to angelo for a reason i'm gonna tell you what i did i sent this live to angelo for a reason now I told you it's going to bring other motherfuckers into this shit. Kevin, are you man enough to go live to tell everybody why you was really trying to intimidate Asriel? I know too much. That's why y'all wanted me out the way. But now y'all truth coming out. Why was you so adamant on Asriel? What did Lily promise you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did Lili promise you? And I dare Lili come out and say, I didn't promise him anything. I will play the fucking record. That came from you, Big Bug, indirectly. Thank you. But next time you want to send some shit, make sure I'm not in the send column. So, Lily, didn't you promise Bad Bug that you was going to set him and Azriel up to be a couple? I keep telling you, I'm from Baltimore. We the best to do it. We the best to do it. We the best to do it. I'm just saying. Didn't you promise your birthday twin that you was going to set him up to be with Azriel? That's all he had to do is coerce her to not testify against Robert? Mm. So I guess that never happened either. Mm, 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 mm. So the whole time everybody thinking That this nigga was really for Robert. He wasn't. Then you say manipulate. 
I manipulate people like I manipulated Debo. I didn't manipulate Debo. I just told the truth. And I also said in my live, I don't give a fuck if he take heed to it or not. I'm putting the truth out there. And I ain't give a fuck how Debo felt. And I damn sure ain't give a fuck how you felt. So make this make sense. Since y'all like to say that, make it make sense. And I have a recording. I have a recording. I have a real recording. I'm just trying to find it. I got to remember where I put it at. I have a real recording with you and Lily, Bebo. Hmm. Hmm. Like I say, they don't call me the receipt man, a.k.a. Mr. Exclusive for nothing. And you're going to get some exclusives today. Remember, I, I will let you run with a lie until I get tired. And bed bug, I let you run with a lie long enough. I've been tired. I just wanted you to sink yourself for a second. I wanted you to understand that you ain't on my level. I wanted you to understand that you're a piece of shit. And I wanted you to understand that when you see me, I hope your insurance is paid up. The same nigga you capping for is the same nigga that repeatedly say fuck you. But that's not my cross the bell. That's between you and that dude in Bowling, bro. I don't give a fuck. You ain't my friend. But I tell you this. I bet you you won't ever open your mouth in front of a police officer and say it is what it is. I bet you you won't ever open your mouth in front of me, in front of anybody, and say anything to me. And I'll put that on everything I motherfucking love. I will stitch your life up, nigga. Make that make sense. So at the end of the day, what else, what else I got from there? He said, I befriended the Boski. I actually didn't. The Boski befriended me. And let's go here. I didn't know who the fuck a Leroy Brown was. Technically, Lee Leroy Brown was supposed to fuck you up. And if I can retrieve my old messages, I'll show you that. I ain't know who he was. Dude jumped in my inbox and said, yo, I hear you doing a rally. And I hear that nigga threatening y'all. I'm from the city. Don't, 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 don't nobody know that nigga. Look, if y'all need somebody there to rock with y'all, I rock with y'all. I ain't know who Leroy Brown was. So when motherfuckers putting that loud there talking about, oh, Leroy Brown was supposed to be a bodyguard and for me and for the female, that shit ain't true. The, the only person that was supposed to be a bodyguard that was brought in was Black Bender and his men. And that wasn't by me. That wasn't my choice. So whoever's telling that lie, they can kick rocks with Jesus slippers because you're lying. Next thing I get from this, you said. Uh, I'm writing too fast. I can't even read this. Um, Something about something to people. I don't know. I scratched that off because I don't know what that is. You said I'm the devil on YouTube. Nah, I ain't the devil on YouTube. I'm just the devil to y'all niggas. Because y'all niggas can't get what y'all trying to get done. And I refuse to let it get done.
So I'm the devil to y'all niggas, not, not to you two. And you claim about your and you claim about your grown ass son being on Larry Channel, right? And all of them bitches over there love to say, "Oh, that was wrong," but all of them motherfuckers cheered when you got my son mother on a recording on her sick time. Check this out. You ain't hear me come out saying, "Oh my God, I can't believe he did that." You ain't hear me say that. What you heard me say is, I believe in getting even. When Tori Love used to call me talking about Dana and you got your lick back, ask her what I told her. I ain't get my lick back yet. Ask her, did I say that? I ain't get my lick back yet. And she used to say, oh, this is about Kales. This is about Kales. And I used to tell her, until she tell you that, don't tell me that. Because this is no longer about Kales. If this was about Kales, you wouldn't have did what you did. So, yeah, I'm going to run the whole I'm going to run the whole program of you fucking your kid daughters and the pussy and the ass while they were kids. You're a pedophile, nigga. Then you sit back and you ran with another lie. You said when you came home from jail and you was this upstanding father and this and this, that's another lie. You was not. You was not. Let's get them likes up. So that clears that. Uh, you got mad because Trevin came on my live. Okay. But didn't you have the Bolsky op on your live when you was mad at him because he wouldn't fuck you no more? Because, you know, both of y'all like dick. So because he wouldn't fuck you no more and he cut you off so it was like a hole on welfare. Didn't you have his op on your live? And let's go here. You never called me an op. I, I always called all of y'all ops. I wage war on all of y'all. Did, did you forget that? I waged war on all of you. Okay. So who you... No, I'm going to say that for last. I'm going to say that for last. And I don't got much left. Uh, I befriended who? No, all of y'all befriended me. Because, Kevin, you would have been a nobody if it wasn't for that first, for that second rally, actually, that I let you record at, that you brought nothing to except for a half a block screaming free R. Kelly. I give that to you. Let me see. The only the only reason why you got to talk to Will was because of Lily. Let's put that out there. You said, did the feds ever call you? Did they ever come knock on your door? Did they ever come do this? Do that, da, 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 da. It's not over. So I will be very, very, very careful of what you say. It's not over. Because remember, Sherman Hemsley, a.k.a. Rain Bolsky, caught you coming out the fed building snit snitching on him. And remember that. If a nigga ever come out and say some shit like that and then go silent, that's the nigga I'm watching. Let's go here. You claim the feds ain't knock on your door the first time, but why you disappear? Unless you went and struck a deal too. One thing for sure, two things for certain. My name ain't never been in no paperwork. Never. Uh, let me see what else you said. DJ reached out to... Oh, Trevin did say that people overlooked that DJ reached out to me. I mean, reached out to him to try to calm the shit down with, with me. I ain't reach out. You reached out to Trevin. 
And then when you seen the response that people gave you and you had to go back to this, oh, fuck him, this and this and this and this and this. And this. But watch this. This is the same shit you did with Jeff. That's why I won't ever fuck with you again. So it's not that you won't fuck with me. Because trust me, the minute I... It, if I ever had it in my life to say, yo... Fuck all that. Yo, 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 let's be cool. You'll be the first one. All right, Dana, yo, let's resolve. Da, da, da. Nah, nigga, I don't fuck with you. It's up forever. So you can try that shit. That shit you trying is dead. So. Hmm. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Ah, that's what it was. You said that, uh, but then you, you said I record people and make them look dumb. You said that I use Trevin. I ain't use Trevin at all. Don't nobody give a fuck about the views. Y'all do. But Kevin, you lied and said, you check me when I asked you, where do you stand with the Bolski? You lied and said, you check me. You went and told Trevin and everybody else that, that would listen to you that you check me. When you check somebody, you put them in that place, you say what you say, and then you get off the motherfucking phone. You don't stay on the phone, do you? You don't try to give nobody brotherly advice, do you? Well, this is why I do what I do for days like this. You're a fraud, nigga. The whole time you up there saying, bozo this, bozo that. And when me and Dabowski and was getting into it, and everybody was saying, well, Dana, why won't you say nothing back to Kevin? This is why. But then you sit up there and you you fake in the front like, oh, call this, call this. Man, I don't give a fuck what happened with motherfucking Larry. I don't give a fuck what happened with Angelo and them. Rob is in jail behind dumb shit, bro. But when you attack me. And those are niggas that try to keep them in jail, too. Man, look, look, but I'm going to tell you this. I gave y'all everybody that's trying to keep them in jail. Y'all, and I'm going to keep it 100, including you. Y'all pick and chose who y'all wanted to fuck with. I understand your beef with, with a Larry, but I understand that. That's a never-ending shit. That's going to go until one of y'all die. Same thing with an Angelo, because he's not going to let that shit go for the Bolski done. That's going to go back and forth. I really don't give two fucks about Angelo or Larry. I don't know how many times I got to keep reiterating that shit. No, we not cool. No, we don't fuck with each other. No, I don't rock with team. I eat shit. And you know that. However, what, just like I told the nigga last night, I refuse to do what happened last year and have a whole nother year beefing and nothing get accomplished. This is about love, bro. Right? Right, and if it's about Rob, that's why you should have things a little bit different if you're not trying to do the last year shit. And that's why I gotta, and that's why I gotta address that fuck nigga one time, one time only. I'm gonna address him, and I'm gonna keep him moving. I don't want your saying shit to me after that. I don't care if you I see thought, me. I thought y'all said enough already. Huh? I thought y'all said enough already, though. Nah, bro. Nah, bro, the shit he tried to do today is reckless. I don't play games like that, bro. And the thing is, just like I said last night, them niggas are still fucking watching. So it's nothing 
And for, for and for me to get picked up all behind that nigga trying to go sea surfing over some shit that's not true. So cool. Since you want to implement me, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know what? He wanna be the savior. Facts. The savior of what? We all fighting a machine. I don't give a fuck about accolades. This is a machine. But then since this post said, oh, the, oh, the enterprise taking over, and that nigga think the shit's sweet. All right. One, one thing he's going to learn is that fucking with me is the wrong move. So I just had to find out which way are you rocking? Because I understand that, you know, y'all Chicago do stick together. I mean, but that's that. I, I don't get into that hey, shit. Hey, 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 let me tell you that, man. I, I mean, we the guy. I ain't gonna let nothing happen to him. And I ain't gonna let it happen if I'm with him. I'm not gonna let nothing happen to him. Because I feel he's still fighting a fight for Rob. That's why I understand that. You. Listen to me. Listen to me. That's why I told you to handle this shit. Different, man. Dana, you don't listen to nobody, but whoever, whoever calls you blows the photo. But we said this before over and over again and over again. And I said this, Dana, you got to look in the mirror first, bro, because you put yourself out there. You know what I'm saying? You're not listening. It's just like Larry getting on that motherfucker. All this is over because I put the truth out there that Don Russell was a fucking liar and he set Rob up. I tried to tell y'all in different ways, but now, since motherfuckers ain't get it, now y'all hand it firsthand. Tell everybody, I did that shit. Larry got out there and told motherfuckers he did that. He got a motherfucker for 1.6 million. And then yeah. meant he do what to 10 million. And this is why I kept people not listening. The YouTube shit is a record of everything you put on there. So you got to be careful what you put on there right. because people are using it against you. And this is why I kept trying to tell you and was still trying to tell you. You can't blame nobody but yourself because you gave people the evidence to right. against you. This is why I said when you was playing or not, that's neither here nor there. Ah, pay attention to what he just said. He said, no matter... What it is you gave people the ammunition to use against you. Well, when you went on your daughter's wedding and you said what you said about your daughters and their mama, you gave people, they gave people ammunition to use against you. They put the truth out there that you fucked them when they was a kid and they gave a detailed story. And I don't give a fuck who don't agree with it. I agree with them. Because the story is too fucking detailed. R remember, I do this PI shit for a living. I don't go around trying to ask motherfuckers on YouTube to help me. I gather shit on my own. But you said, no matter if you were playing or not, so you knew what it was. But you mm -hmm. ran with the lie. That everybody else ran with. Let's finish. You told on yourself. Don't get mad at my recordings. Get mad at yourself when you showed yourself to be a fuck nigga. You might not take it for play. That's what I'm trying to explain to you, bro. You're not listening. That's what I'm saying. Go a different route with that shit. You won't go for that. Go for that. Leave that shit with the boss get low. Because they ain't going to do no more the back and forth thing. And then hear me back again with some last year shit like me and you had. And then the subscriber like this for the subscriber. I promise you it won't be no back and forth shit. You just got to just end that shit. Sometimes you got to take the high road. It's just it's like, you know what? Fuck that shit. Oh, I am. You said it. But but you try to make him seem like okay because you know the most you'll come back too. I don't you give a fuck about him coming back. You gonna come back too? That's no, I'm not. I'm, trust me. After I say what I gotta say, who 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 the fuck is the nigga? He's a he's irrelevant to me. I don't gotta say nothing else to the nigga. I'm I'm bigger than him. I'm I'm gonna say that much. What I look like arguing with a peon. Come on, man. I'm about a dollar. Who gives a fuck about 50 cents? I hear what you're saying. But sometimes the 50 cents do count. They end up to a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, let me but, tell you something, man. Hey, hey, I'm an old school. The scariest thing even 
and shot a gun. You're right. For real. You're right. The scary nigga didn't even kill the motherfucker, not even knowing that they had the balls to do it, but only because they scared. That's why I'm trying to tell you, man, let that shit go, man. Back, I'm trying to tell you to go back and forth. I'm going to tell you to let that shit go. I call him and tell him to let that shit go. Y'all just move forward in y'all day. Y'all let the subscribers go. We always say the subscribers back, want to be doing that shit. Like you told me, you said, man, I'm getting called and people call me. And then you called me and told me and I'm breaking it down to you. That's the same world that be moving for you, man. Be the same world that want shit to really kick off. You gotta understand yeah. that. I don't the same way I called Trevin and Trevin called me was the same way I used to call you and you used to call me until I cut you the fuck off. So now who used who? You can't get mad because Trevin is a real one and you're a fake nigga. I'm just saying. But let's finish. The same motherfuckers that you talking about is in your chat now. So who's a real nigga and who's a fake nigga? I guess I don't got a fake kick it to kick it. Wow. Yeah, just like that Nikki Bowman. I'm sitting back watching everything she doing. Like, damn, yo, you just hitting my phone talking greasy about other motherfuckers, but then you jump in that chat talking greasy about me. Man, fuck you. She can never call me again. All right, I don't know nothing about all that, but I'm just talking about what's going on right now. We just let that shit go, man. So, just, man, get that fight, man. They, 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 we need to focus this energy on this motherfucker take two. It's just something like that. I ain't but this motherfucker violated, bro. Then I can't violate, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna man. tell you this: when I can sit there and listen to a motherfucker calling about me, nah, yo, that's some more informant type shit, nigga. Can, can, can I mean, and you can't go around talking about you want to run from informants, and you are an informant, nigga. Nah, bro. Nah. Can't fuck with you. Can't fuck with you ever. Like I say, I can destroy this nigga right now if I wanted to. Huh? Larry is the fucking informant. That's the real informant. And so is the Bosky. Uh, the Bosky ain't no informant. Man, fuck I that. think the Bosky. Nah, the Bosky ain't no informant. Larry the motherfucker. He the motherfucker. Want to call everybody or everybody and want to get all these fake ass trumped up charges? I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. But what happens when? But what happens when the when the Bolsky start doing the same old shit? Uh, because you gotta realize where it started from, homie. Just like I kept trying to tell you when. Don't, don't deflect. Know, I don't know, Larry. Larry come out the blue. And my mother was talking about, I ain't seen, uh, I ain't, Larry was here before me. I'm like, whether well, he was here before me or not, I don't know a nigga. I never called a nigga's name or nothing. The nigga found me, was calling my name out. So I don't even know that nigga. And so for that nigga to do all that shit with the kids and the family and go over and do a Facebook page, I don't give a fuck if I'm gonna call the state's attorney on that motherfucker. That's the tub he get. Nice. So was that. You can't, you can't do shit to motherfucker think it ain't supposed to come back. No guys, what the fuck it is? This my thing. If that nigga got balls enough to try to trump up a case against me, who gives a fuck about him calling this motherfucking state's attorney? Watch this. Watch this. I don't give a fuck what y'all do to Larry. Because I'm in that boat of doing some shit to him too. So I don't give a fuck about that. But when this little motherfucker wanna start doing shit against me, Knowing that I don't got shit to do with this shit? Nah, bro. I got an issue with you now. And and when you called then, we could have talked it out like men. Everything was going good until he wanted to get hyper and want to start threatening. Nah, man, you can't do that to me because I don't need a thousand motherfuckers. Listen to the pattern. Didn't you hear Trevin come out and say he threatened him? Didn't you hear uh, uh, um, 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 312 come out and say th that he threatened her? Didn't you hear Chi-Town Finals come out and say he threatened her?
Didn't you, Kevin, threaten Lady T? Didn't Dabowski come out and threaten Lady T mama? Birds of a feather flock together. For one motherfucker. Fuck that. I don't need a thousand motherfuckers. Get me to a hundred likes. Motherfuckers. If I got an issue, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my issue with you. I'm not going to involve nobody else. But since I know how he get down. Facts. Shit ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go, bro. Because I can match manpower for manpower. You, you, you don't want to do that. This shit will fuck around and turn into a Chicago Baltimore war. I promise you that. His niggas already hit me like, yo, let's drive to Chicago tomorrow. But that's why I say, what you say on the internet? Oh, it's a record. So I, I, so I totally agree. I, I will never say I disagree with you with that, Kevin. Once again. Now y'all know where certain shit coming from. And this was when uh, man Larry was going at it heavy. This is when Blockbender was in the play. So just imagine how old this recording is. And I know what some people are going to say, oh, that's old, but it's relevant. <laughs> Why? Because it proves the point. That ain't none of you motherfuckers over there who y'all say y'all are. And once again, I was going to take this to my grave. That's why they so terrified. Oh, no, he playing recordings. He going to make people look stupid. You realize you talk too much, didn't you? That's why I always play Let Me Be Frank. Because if I didn't go down for the shit that I did. When we was going against Team Truth. What make you think I'm going to go down for the shit that I didn't do? The shit y'all trying to trump up on me. Let's finish. I need 35 more likes. I totally agree. But I ain't with the fuck shit, bro. Uh, uh, I'll take it the way they cover. They keep covering me with the same shit. That's the only shit they cover me with. It is what it is. I bust that shit all keep moving. They keep pushing. I can't go and motherfucker that every time they talk about somebody saying on fucking fake. I stout. Let me explain something to you. I don't give a fuck about being number one, being number two, being number three. Explain this. Y'all don't know shit. Y'all fucked up this man case. I didn't. If y'all wanted to separate. That's all you had to do is like, yo, yo, we done. And never speak on me. Y'all could have been doing y'all thing. I could have went, I, I could have did my thing. But when y'all start scamming in the name of R. Kelly, that ain't sit well with me. Or when y'all fucked up his shit, it ain't sit well with me. Or when y'all copied and paste certain shit and then took it over to Keith and let Keith and Sean them hear that shit. And Sean ran that shit knowing that Sharon Monet is sitting back masterminding all of this shit. Along with motherfucking Don Russell and Sean Harris and other motherfuckers like Lily. And guess what? I ain't trying to hear that shit. So you can take that shit somewhere else. Until you know what the fuck going on. Shut the fuck up. Let's finish. I promise you, I need 27 more likes. Facebook, not YouTube, dear motherfucker, begin out of fucking, uh, 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 doc, you say, I can't be going here, fuck them, let them talk about that shit forever, fuck them. Right. I just gotta keep this. So I just, had, right. I just had to find out. Where you stood, like, because everybody, like, oh, Kevin talking about you. I'm like, yo, Kevin got my number. No, not what talking about you. I was saying, and it's respect, like this here. Do 
another motherfucker that formed it. You know, motherfuckers doing shit, calling hotels and all that other shit they doing. They try to get up Trump charges. But that shit was too far though, bro. But that shit was wrong, and I said that from the jump. And I linked on them niggas about that shit, like yo, for that, for that man got lived there. You gotta understand something. We talking about cover. Cover is no matter what it is, bro. Right. No what, what I'm saying, saying is, up there trying to trump up cases on Come on, man. Fuck them. <laughs> but I'm saying this, but I told, but I said it live, but I said, yo, that's fucked up. How y'all trying to get that man put out and that man ain't do shit to none of y'all? Go back and look at that shit. Watch this. Y'all never heard me say I told Team Truth that. Who was I talking about when I said that? I showed y'all the motherfucking screenshots when I said I told them they were wrong. That was Sylvia and Randa. Because Randa said, look, you see the building, but that's right behind him. That's where he stay at. And a operation went into effect after that. That's when all of us was talking to Larry. That's when Sylvia and Randa was on the phone and with Larry all the time. I got cut out that conversation. So I had to call Larry on my own. Me, Larry, and Sebo. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> the truth is there. Now, how the fuck you want to fight it? It's on you. R. Kelly supporter. I hear what you're saying, though, Dana, but even, if, even with that, the nigga trying to get R. Kelly still locked up. Oh, we already. Listen, what I'm telling you. Nigga, talk about they trying to find extra victims and all this old shit. Listen, what I'm telling you. Listen, listen, what I'm telling you. We already got that covered. We already got all that covered. Just like when I know who gave Hollywood next What's up the hell? fucking name, bro. And when Hollywood next called that name out, everybody went attacking her. Yo, I've known her for seven years, bro. Who? Shan. Who? But I ain't gonna call her real name, bro, because I don't know what's going on, but... But I've known her for seven years, bro. Seven years... Huh? Shan. I'm gonna just call her nicknames, bro, because I'm not going... You know what I mean? Uh, so what you gave Hollywood X what? Nah. Um... Shit, uh... Larry fucked around and gave her that name, talking about call his name out to then see what she gonna say. Man, she been with Rob three years, ain't had nothing bad to say about Rob, because Rob's not a bad person. Who? I told him I'm not gonna say her name, bro. Uh, fair. I I just said, I, I just, I, it's the reason why I said don't say her name. I mean, that's on social media. She on a talk show. Yeah, but, but I mean, but, at the end of the day, man, like, motherfuckers be on some other shit, man. I'm just, bro, I'm not with it. The hell crazy. Well, the only way to not be with it is to add to it. That's all. I, I'm not with it. But I'm going, but as you say, Kevin, my name is my brand. I'm going to defend my name. I understand that. You, you got to understand what you bring. Yo, I still got more of this live left. I need 100 likes, bro. I got 156 people in here. I need 100 likes. I ain't have to help now more, you rotten ass hoe. Bitch, my mama ain't got a bunch of kids that die. Bitch, I owe you hoe. Bury your baby. Fuck y'all pain, bitch. Give me back my goddamn money, hoe. Or suck my dick, bitch. In Chicago. Fuck y'all, uh, suck uh, my uh, dick, uh, bitch. Uh, hold on, hold on, I keep on, a goddamn gun hey, hold for on, whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about shit. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun, nigga. Nigga, I keep a motherfucking gun, Chicago. Say, homie, you got a nigga, what you got? Man, you better sit down, homie. What you mean, what I'm on? Nigga, don't fuck with me with a gun in my hand, nigga. I ain't have to help now more, you rotten ass hoe. I'm just saying. Everybody hit that like button. If I got 156 people in here and everybody hit, hit, hit that like button, then hey, it'll be it'll be straight. 
It'll be straight. Y'all ain't going to sit here and virtually prostitute me. Y'all want to hear what I got? You're going to give me what I want. I know Dream Team already done hit it. Summer Oak Cove already done hit it. I'm just saying. Don't, don't fall off now. Y'all mad because I boxed all of y'all so-called hitters in and all of y'all hitters shooting duds. And I'm dropping that motherfucking atomic bomb on them bitches. So I'm just saying. Say what you say and mean what you say. You know what I mean? That nigga wasn't giving me no manly advice. Roses Gander, you got to understand what the fuck going on. See, if you ain't been here from the beginning, you don't know. That's the problem. He was giving me manly advice. You can't give a man manly advice when you doing fucked up shit and you the reason why shit going on. I'm just saying, Rose's Gander, and you haven't been here from the beginning. Being here from the beginning is being here back in 2018, the end of 2018. You ain't been here. And if you've been here, get from under that avatar and say who you really are. Never seen your name before until now. But definitely... I got you. I definitely explain to you. He trying to make it seem like it's one thing when it's not. He got mad at Trevin because Trevin calls me and I call him behind the scenes. Whole time he calling me and behind the scenes when he procrastinating to his followers that he ain't never talked to me and that he don't talk to me. It was until I cut him off to when he really started getting mad. That's what the problem is. So you can't scorn Trevin for calling me when you was virtually calling me and Larry every motherfucking day. Fuck wrong with fuck wrong with these people, man. I'm just saying, don't fuck with the bozo. Don't do that. Okay, cool. I'll be the po I, I, I will be the bozo pedophile. But listen. I explain what a bozo is. So I thank you because I get all the money and don't nobody in the circus move until I get all my money, right? But can you explain why your daughters, why two of your daughters have saying, uh, have came out and said that you fucked them as a kid and coming up and your third one has said that you sent your man to rape her. That's why you won't slide for them. Let's understand that. Come out and say your daughter's a motherfucking lying. I dare you. I dare you. Come out, call them by name, let them know they're a motherfucking lie, and let them know that you never touched them. I bet you won't. I bet you won't. And I'm going to tell you why. The reason why you won't say it is because you're afraid that they will open the floodgates up on your ass. I keep saying it. It's not what I present. It's what the fuck I know. The question is, what do I know and how much do I know? Listen, Rose's Gander, it done went so far that he can't even speak to me. He going to have to see me on a blacktop in the middle of the street. So I don't give a fuck about him going to get a gun permit. I don't give a fuck because I can go whichever way he want to go. I'm very accurate in shooting. I'm very accurate in fighting. I'm very accurate in stabbing. Fuck speaking to them niggas. It's no longer speaking matter. I'm telling you.
Yo, I need 18 more likes. I'm going to play this last two minutes, and then I'm going to stop it because I still got more of this to go. I need 18 more likes. With your bread, too. It just can't be a bread if you don't bring up with your bread. You bought some with your bread. Uh, Dana, you're not listening, bro. You brought this shit to your bread. I don't know what it was in the beginning or what you thought in the beginning, but we see what it is now. You see what I'm saying? It just got serious. That's all it is. It's been serious with me, bro. Yeah, well, I understand. You said it is, but you got to realize what came with your bread. Like when I was talking about the baby by, by the two girls, you said you had babies by them. Nobody said that but you, Dana. We didn't say that. You said that. Hey, but it was... But it was other motherfuckers when I wanted to keep it going, like, oh, Dana, what about this? What about this? Man, mind your motherfucking business. Hey, God, I'm keep it going. Don't mean you got to fall into it. That's what I'm saying, though. You don't you, realize. You don't have to follow this shit you don't have to fall into. So fuck what they say. Let them play the game. I'm not for the play no game, though. Nigga, you say I got to play my who? I ain't got to play my no motherfucker. I'm done. I'm done with that shit. My point proven. He just told you that if anybody going to lie, he going to come out and correct it, right? So why didn't he correct it about his daughters? I told y'all. It, 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 that's all you got to do is let a motherfucker talk. <coughs> why didn't he correct it about his daughters? He, he just came out and said, hey, but I ain't about to go back and pull nobody. Ain't no, from, ain't no motherfucker going to lie on me. Shit, motherfuckers say, shit, I don't got to go with my nobody. Okay, well, if that's the case, why didn't you come out and say you ain't do that to your daughters? <clears throat> and all of y'all so-called women that's over there, I question y'all womanhood. To now know that this nigga's a stone-cold pedophile and a dude that killed an artistic-ass five-year-old kid and don't feel sympathy about nothing. He feel like everybody owe him something. But that's who y'all follow. I'm telling you. I get with the Angelo Cutter. That's my cousin. That's my family or whatever the fuck that. Hey, motherfuckers know y'all ain't family or whatever. Uh, let's go here. Rose Gander said, but Dana, you on the phone with him. So are you doing the same thing by talking to him also? It's the same thing you were accusing him of. No, 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 no. I've never been a pedophile. Never. Never. No. Nah, I've never been a pedophile. And you saying, I don't listen. I don't listen to what? And you got to understand the reasoning because I won't listen to them niggas. Yes, I talked to Will. Yes, I was talking to Keith. Yes, I still talk to Larry. I'm grown. I can talk to who the fuck I want to talk to. I'll pay this bill. Don't none of y'all pay shit for me. So if I want to talk to Trevin, I can talk to Trevin. Just like I talk to Blackman. I talk to everybody just like Larry talked to everybody. So what the fuck should I listen to that bum for? And what's up, Tara? Why should I listen to that bum? You, you tell me why should I listen to a nigga that uh fucked his kids, that killed a five year old baby. You, you, you tell me. You tell me why should I take advice from a nigga who don't take responsibility for nothing he did. <laughs> And then I'm going to ask you this question. Why are you even capping for a nigga like that? Let's finish. So, I mean, if it, it's the shit that you add with the shit, even though it's bullshit, you add with the shit. I'm actually trying to sit 
your bread, you're supposed to protect your bread. You're supposed to protect your name. You're supposed to protect your image and your character. That's why I fight so hard for man and for care because I'm not going to let nobody assassinate that. That's why I don't play the internet game with that. Yeah, I'm so, so, so. I don't do all that. If I ain't, I ain't. If I am, I am. Man. All that extra. Uh, I'm not going to do that, Dana. You've done that. You played with your bread. You played with it. And so people picked up off of it. And so every time there's somebody get in tune with you, even if it's going to be after the Bosky, somebody else might come out and say, who's that? And they're going to find out all the shit you've said from 2019 and to now. They're going to say the same thing that the Bosky said. Uh, <laughs> if Captain for the Bosky was a person, it'd be Captain. <laughs> And motherfuckers don't like that shit. I said I need to get to 100 likes. I got 87, right? So watch the way I do this shit. Y'all motherfuckers ain't learn. Here we go. Uh, Hollywood X said, I said, or anybody else say, it's going to be the same recurring shit, bro. I say, brush this shit off. Keep it moving. So even after the boat skit. Right, Grandma. Logic of stupid people. And then they find out the same thing. You can't attack everybody. Hmm. Let's see what else I got. Every little thing I take. Let's see where else I want to go with this. Oh. Once again. Hmm. You was recorded. Oh, excuse me. Okay, yes, I was recorded. I ain't said nothing wrong with me. Well, you being recorded? Say what? Or whatever you said. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go listen to the recordings, and because Hollywood Next have the recordings now. Wait a minute. He said the recordings making me look stupid. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, she, uh, she told, she said, I was on live. This was years ago. And she, she said that he was talking about me. And that she was going to play a recording where he was talking about me. No, 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 no. This is supposed to be you. He, matter of fact, you Back called him. Like and, and he didn't tell you that she was on the other line recording. Okay. And it's about Asriel leaving Robert. Whatever that conversation was. Yeah, no, about Asriel leaving my brother. Yeah, yeah, and about allegedly, allegedly, you supposed to be looking for some money for Robert and to take his money, and I'm like, I don't know. So, so I'm gonna go listen to it. I don't like to waste time on stupid conversation. There's no profit in that. So if I'm around people that are always complaining with no solutions, then I'm wasting real estate in my brain for what I need to project. And what I project in my brain is what I project in my reality. So that real estate only has to be for evolution, things that are going to help me get where I got to go. You understand? Help me evolve. So if my conversation with you makes me stagnate, we don't have too much conversation either. I don't have no time for no stupid ass conversation. I don't understand what I've done wrong. I think obviously people aren't ready to see someone like me.
niggas love the moon snow. You sick of me, don't care, though. Yes, I'm savage. Out for the cabbage. Catch the boy armed up for metal albums. Yes, I'm ill. And yeah, I'm so real. Coward ass niggas coming home without an appeal. Damn, how this getting done. Tell me what's the outcome. Anybody wanna see me? Tell them where the fuck I'm from. You control homes, red rum. Yeah, we get the job done. Out trying to stack chips. Make these haters so sick. If they sick of that, then they really gonna be sick of this. Santa Claus Viper. Haters, Merry Christmas. Himself, then he has not to say the word. 